in this video we're going to look at electrical current and you can think of electrical current just like water flowing negative electrons are going to uh, the positive part of the cell uh, they are going towards potential energy if electrons stay by the negative part of the cell they will have high potential energy and they don't like that so they'll go to the positive part of the cell which they have low or negative potential energy same thing with water and gravity if water is high up it will have high potential energy and when it goes down it will have low potential energy right and we talk about electrical current as just the number of electrons flowing through any given point in a given time and we measure this at, in amps that's our unit and one amp is one column of charge each second or it's 6.242 times 10 to the 18 electrons flowing per second now when we talk about electrical current we talk about cell potentials that is what is the difference in potential energy between your anode and your cathode and again we can go back to the water analogy height is just a measure of potential energy so the higher you are the more potential energy you have and so the greater difference in potential energies you have from the top to the bottom it's the same thing with cell potential and here we use our volt a volt is just one joules of energy per column of charge and really the cell potential is how how much does your anode want to give an electron away and how much does your cathode want to accept that electron um, the more your anode wants to give your electron away and the more your cathode wants to accept your electron then the bigger your cell potential and for all our batteries we use a set of standard conditions called the standard emf that is we do all our calculations as 25c if we're using gases it's one atmosphere and if it's a solution it's one molar and our we just sum together the cell potentials for each of our half reaction this is just a way so if we're looking at different potentials um, we can actually compare them because they're not done under the same conditions. So for our electrochemical cells or batteries, we keep our oxidation, which is losing electrons, and our reduction, which is gaining reactions, in separate cells. So this is done in your batteries. Um, here's an example of a primitive battery. We have our anode right here, which is losing electrons, oxidizing and our cathode right here which is gaining electron each one of these reactions we call a half reaction because only half of the total reaction is being shown now in this half reaction we have a wire that connects our anode and our cathode this allows our electrons to flow and here we have a light bulb connected to that wire because we're going to use that flowing electricity to do work in this case this work is to create light um, we also need some kind of electrode to um, allow the transfer of electrons. So um, here we're just using a metal wire, right? You also need some way to uh, allow ions to flow. Because if you didn't have what is called a salt bridge, what would happen is that your battery would die incredibly fast because the charges would be neutralized. And if the charges are neutralized, there's no potential anymore. So this salt bridge allows um, charges that aren't electrons to flow and allows your battery to continue to pass electrons through this wire. So no salt bridge, no battery. Now let's just look at some terminology. We already talked about this a little bit, but the anode is negative. And this is where your oxidation happens or where you lose electrons. Your cathode is where your reduction happens. Your positive part, this is where you gain electrons. The salt bridge is a tube that allows you to transfer electrolytes. And just one more thing before we finish up. Um, this is common notation for talking about a battery. 
you say, what is my solid anode? Then a single line, what solution that anode's in? Double line means salt bridge. And then we go back to solution and then your solid cathode. And that is all I have for this video. I will see you in the next video.